Hello, in this video, we will take you through the process of the construction of Rafart Music Tech and Production's first custom MIDI controller. It all started with sketch drawings. This was the creative part of the process, where the controller's needs and layout were decided. Once the layout was sketched out, the next step was 3D modeling. The challenge of this part was to make sure the pieces fit perfectly, so that they match when sent to the cutting machine. After the 3D model was finished, the next step was cutting the pieces for the housing, which included cutting a unique logo into the front metal piece. The controller was designed to be a clip triggering and effects control surface for Ableton Live. It has controls for 8 tracks with 32 knobs, an 8x5 button grid and 8 faders. It has 6 arcade buttons for effects control and on the bottom it has transport and scene selection controls. Lastly, it incorporates two joysticks for multi-dimensional FX control. The buttons, faders and knobs send information to a Livid Instruments brain, a DIY device designed for the construction of custom-made controllers. For the final details, the housing was painted with a bright blue and crazy LEDs were added to make the MIDI controller a distinctive piece of stage gear. The hardest part of the project was scripting the device so that it works as a control surface in Ableton Live. This was done so that the user doesn't need to map it every time a new project is started. Here is the finished product.